We begin tonight with the Democratic Congressman Wiley Nickel, who joins us live from his home state and the potential swing state of North Carolina. Congressman, thanks for being back with us here on the Hill. We uh, always love speaking with you. Thanks for the time. Joe Biden, the president, should he withdraw from this race, yes or no, as you see it, Congressman? You know, I think I think what what I see is a conversation that's focusing on Joe Biden instead of talking about Donald Trump and his disastrous four years as president. But the the questions about whether Joe Biden is up to the job are very fair. I think it's important. I hear that about the, the conversation, Congressman, but it's a it's a yes or no, right? Should he withdraw from the race? What is your? I, I think I think I think what what he needs to do is he needs to get out there in front of. The, the American public, he needs to answer the tough questions, no holds barred from reporters. He needs to come to places like North Carolina's 13th District and talk to Democrats, Republicans, and Independents so I, they know that he's up for the job. That's the first thing I, that he I needs take to it, do, and he needs to do it soon. I take it the answer from you then is no at this point in time? The, 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 answer, the answer is we should be talking about Donald Trump, not about Joe Biden, and we are because he hasn't put this issue to rest and the only way he can do that is if he make if he gets out there in front of the American people, talking to folks like you on News Nation, you know, answering the questions about whether he's up to the job. I, I believe he is. I don't think we're there okay. yet. But right now, if if the White House is listening, if the president's listening, he needs to get out there and make the case himself. So talking about making the case, that New York Times poll, uh, Congressman, 31 uh, percent only believe that he should remain the nominee. 34 percent approve of his job as president. 34 percent say he made the con country better since taking office. Only 36 percent have a favorable approval rating. 74 percent agree that he is too old to be president. Translation there. Congressman, two-thirds of the country says he didn't do a good job, and three-fourths of the country says he is too old. Is he your best option? He's, he is our Democratic nominee for president right now, and I think it's important to, to step back and remember that this is an election against a convicted felon who would be a disaster for, the, for these, this country, and we've got to do everything we can to stop Donald Trump. I, I'm very hopeful that Joe Biden's up to the task, but it was a bad debate, and he's got to prove to the American public that he can do the job, and that's, I think, can, where we are right now. I want to see Can it. he beat Donald Trump? Well, I think, you know, you're, you're talking about polls that are not good. We should be ahead against uh, someone who is a, a true threat to democracy. He tried to overthrow the federal government after he lost an election fair and square. Uh, I'm very concerned, but, uh, you know, I think, again, the, the, the place I keep coming back to is uh, legitimate questions about whether Joe Biden can, can do the job. And uh, I, I want to see, see him answer those tough questions. You uh, come November 5th. Joe Biden's beating Donald Trump in your view? I, I, I should, the, come November 5th, Donald Trump is nowhere near the Oval Office. That's, that's the, the view I have. That's the hope I have because uh, I don't think our democracy can stand four years of Donald Trump. Is, can Kamala Harris beat Donald Trump if it gets to that one-on-one? -on -one? I just, I don't think we're there yet. I, I, I just, I, I don't think we're, we're ready to really get into that kind of conversation about hypotheticals. Right now, Joe Biden is our nominee uh, for president. And, uh, you know, he gave a great speech in my home state of North Carolina right after the rally, after the, the debate. Um, but, you know, we haven't seen him really so since So let me then. ask you. So, uh, yeah. You yeah, yeah, no, I, and let me just leave you with this, Congressman. And, and I appreciate uh, you being here because, as you, as you might know, not a lot of your colleagues are talking and want to answer these questions. But I've heard you now say a couple times right now, what moves you from right now to move on, like two of your Democratic colleagues? Be because I, I think you've reported it. You're going to see more of my House Democratic colleagues call on President Biden to withdraw from the race. That that is it a couple course, dozen is, as is you not, as you know it, or well, there's two right now, and and there will be more within the next week, within the next few days, and until he can go and put those concerns to bed, you're going to hear more of this noise. You're going to hear more of this. Uh, you know, uh, uh, of, of this distraction from what a disaster Donald Trump would be. And that's my focus. I want to beat Donald Trump. And I want to put this story to bed. And I can't do it. Joe Biden's the one that's got to do it. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.